everybody, it's Marianne at So Right Sewing Machines, and today I'm going to introduce you to the new Bernina 790 Pro. So we're going to open her up. Bernina makes it so convenient to take out the accessories. Isn't that cool the way they do that? in here you're going to have all the standard accessories that normally come with the 7 series machine in here I have an extension table but we got layers of things there you've got your knee lever here is the guide for the extension table here's the Barbie box and down here we're going to have more things we got the stitch regulator oh stitch regulator for those of that you want a free motion and you have trouble this is the thing and in here we're going to have more accessories and here we have a power cord underneath I'm going to have the the manual so let's just put this aside and when I'm going to just put this over here now we're going to go and look further inside the box it's unbelievable how they've designed the packing Here's the machine, your dust cover or for co traveling when you want to travel with it. Here she is. Oh my gosh. Over and this I'm gonna over here is gonna be your foot pedal. And down below, use there it is. Always look for the buttonhole foot. So because it's not with the other accessories. Always look for this because. There have been instances people didn't realize that that was down there and they got rid of the box. So you don't want to lose this. This is very important. Absolutely the best buttonholes you could ever imagine. So now we're going to get take this machine out of the box. I'm going to put it up here on the table. Just give me a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're ready to unveil the Bernina 790 Pro with... Stitch Precision, the newest feature, or one of the newest features. Look at this. They they changed the uh, face of this. This has got like a satin matte finish. This is beautiful. Wow, is that rich looking. Does not not like the original patent leather look. So now we've unveiled 790 Pro. When we're going to start with, we're going to remove this brace that's there when you're um, unpacking any one of the Bernina machines, strictly for shipping. So all I'm going to do is give this a little boost up and I pull this out. This is only for shipping. You do not need to use this while you have your machine ever again. So I'm just going to put that aside. And I'm going to raise the needle and I'm going to plug in the machine. Expose the port. And here we go. Turn it on. And while it's booting up, it does take quite a few seconds. I'm going to start to do things. I'm going to remove this foam from underneath here. And again, that was only for the shipping. I'm going to open this up. And inside is your bobbin case. She's turning on. She's got a lot of info in there, so give her time. So don't think that the machine is not turning on. It is. I am also going to remove this piece from inside there. All these things are from the shipping. When you turn it on for the very first time, the machine is going to ask you what language you would like to speak in. So I'm going to just touch English, and here we go. There is a film on the front of the machine, which all you got to do is get to a corner and peel it off. There we are. That's your main screen. Those of you that have a Bernina 7 Series machine, this is very familiar, all these things here. Uh, your buttons, your stitch width, your stitch length, 
the stitch selections, seeing where your tension is. But something new is on the screen. We have Wi-Fi. There's a little Wi-Fi here. So there will be a point that I will connect the machine to the Wi-Fi of the store and we'll be able to send designs, embroidery designs, into the machine wirelessly. You don't have to use a thumb drive. And I'm going to take this piece out. This was just a test when they have it in the factory and I'm going to pull that off. You're going to find all sorts of blue tapes on the machine. Just pull them off. One is very important though, the one that was on the side of the machine where the power goes. It's going to show you about that piece that I told you to take off. And they just said, remove, make sure you remove that. It's important. I'm finding blue tapes in several places. All I'm going to do is remove them. You won't need them. And then I'm going to, here's the thread from the bobbin. Again, you don't need this anymore. This is your foot pedal. This is going to get plugged into the side of the machine. So we have a, a table here, a koala table, and I'm just going to feed this through here. Actually, we'll go through the back. There we go. And also your power cord goes down underneath. So now it's ready to be threaded. But I'm going to go into that tray that had all the accessories. So I'm going to come over here. Here's all the goodies that come with it. I'm going to take, start to pull the foam out. Here's the extension table, which extends the work surface for sewing. And with the Bernina machine, you can also use this with embroidery. So that would be something that you'd learn about in your lessons. You have extra thread. Here's the knee lever that's going to raise and lower the press of foot so you have what's called freehand system. Pull this out. Everything's in layers. The power cord, I already have another power cord in the machine, so I'm just going to leave this one in here. Here is the stitch regulator. In this box, we have accessories, presser feet, bobbins, the oiler, uh, the straight stitch plate. There. This piece goes on the extension table. I know that so many of you already know what I'm doing, but those of you that are maybe new to Bernina, these are all new great things to learn about. So I'm just going to put this piece on. This is the guide that you can slide this and adjust it and it locks into place when you release the lock. This would go on the machine for your sewing. Down here is the Barbie box. They just gave it that name. It's a nickname. Otherwise, it's an accessory box. Kind of like Christmas. Don't rip the, you know, people don't want to rip all the wrapping. They want to save it. And we're going to have more stuff. These are doors that swing open. And in here, there's going to be more things. I'll open that in a moment. We have drawers that you're going to be able to put your accessories into here. And in the bottom drawer is the tray, the, the, um, I forgot what they're called. These are the things that hold the press of feet so that they, the feet hang nicely inside the Barbie box. And these are available that you can buy more of them to add. Or also, just in case you didn't know, we have other Barbie boxes that you could purchase. Extras. I just want to get on and show you other things. The Barbie box so that it stands on your table nicely 
has legs. So when you put it on your table, it's not going to fall backwards. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get some more stuff. Lay them in here. We have a tiny screwdriver. This is a compensation tool. You'll learn about this when you have your lessons with us. Here's your seam ripper. It's tight. Extra needles, your lint brush. These are foam pads that when this goes on the spool pin, the spools spin so nicely. It just gives it a nice feed. Spool caps. This one is a tool to open up certain parts of the machine and you have a fabric guide. In here, I already emptied that one. And put this back. I'm going to end up putting these things into the Barbie box. But before I start those, I'm going to show you these. You have your bobbins. Your feet. And if you try to stay organized and not disorganized like me, you'll get them in number order. So here I have a number 4D. If you notice the tops, this one is wider, so it goes into the wider brackets. This one is skinny, so it's going to go into one of these. Look at how nice they all hang. Got a stylus to touch your screen, and we do recommend that you do use your stylus, not your fingers. Over time, I've heard that the oils in our fingers can sometimes build up on the screen, and it can sometimes affect your screen. It's not going to hurt your screen, but you want to keep your screen nice and clean, not fingerprints. So do use your stylus. And what's really great here is, watch this, it's magnetic. It's going to just, there's a magnet here on the side. And it's just going to stay. Be good if I looked. There we go. It stays right there. Convenient for you to get when you need it. Got your stitch plate. I'm going to just put the stitch plate right here on the ledge. And this is real. I'm really glad this fell off of one of the feet. I know many of you are going, where did that screw come from? Did it come from inside my machine? No. It most likely came from the back of one of your feet. So let's see if I can find one that's, there it, there it is. So right here, this screw goes in here. And then you're going to ask me, well, why do you need that? Well, there was that fabric guide that it is. I put there it is this fabric guide you loosen you can put the screw on either side depending on which um, bar because there's a this is be your right bar there's also a left bar that's available but if you're gonna put it on the left side this goes in here all the way across and then the screw when you tighten it holds the bar in place so maybe some of you just got a little bit of information that you never knew about your Bernina feet. So now the bar is going to stay there and it doesn't move until you loosen the screw. So that's what that screw is for. So when you find those little screws laying all over the place or falling out, just put it back into one of your feet so you don't lose it again. If you should lose them and can't find them, they are replaceable. So we have extra needles and these are the other tools that I mentioned before. And you do have an oiler. I'm going to put that in here. And here I can put some of the smaller accessories. That. It is so well organized. Put that there. Put that there. Put that screwdriver. My compensation tool lint brush that goes back here 
And also, if some of you didn't know it, when you buy needles and you want to store them neatly, there's a little slide in spot for all your needle packs that you could put in there. Put away my seam ripper. Put in here. I have the extra spool caps. Put them in there. And it's going to stay nice and clean on my shelf, on my desk. What, you know what? I do want to point out something else. Again, those of you that have a 7 Series machine, your bobbins, they go into here. When you do put them in, the sensors should face your right. Don't put them in with the sensors facing the left. You want them going in on the right. And then you push your bobbin in. When you want to get it out, all you do is push on the tab and it rolls out. So that's how you're going to store your bobbins. I do want to point out something as far as storing your accessories. The foam pads, they go here. They go there. So you have less in the drawer. But remember, don't forget to get it out of the bottom of the box. But when you want to put it in your Barbie box, it just goes right in there. And this piece you will find in here, this is the tool that you need to change your needles and that stores in this little cubby hole here. Also, with Bernina 790 Pro, we have a bonus bundle that you're going to get with the machine. I'm gonna open this up. And inside, you're gonna find really great goodies. Open this. And here's your introduction letter about what you're getting. You got extra needles. You have an embroidery online OESD card. I think there's some free embroideries that you're gonna get with this. Inside here, you have the embroidery threads. They're Isocore. And let me open this up and show you a little bit it's so pretty. Look at these, oh my goodness. Maybe I want to take it home. Okay, got that closed. I'll fix that in a moment. We got all kinds of stabilizers, and you should know there is a right stabilizer for the right project and the right kind of fabric. We have a collection. This bundle could seem like overwhelming, especially if you're a beginner to embroidery. Um, stabilizers, an assortment of stabilizers, and they all have a different purpose. Don't worry if it's overwhelming because when you come to your classes and have your lessons on your machine, you're going to be taught all about how to use these things. So don't worry about that. We're here for you. So here we have a collection of OESD signature library designs. And we have categories of designs. So here you can have monogramming. Over here you can have flowers. It says petals and blooms. More flowers. Holiday stuff kitchen stuff, beautiful embroidery designs. Over here, you're gonna have another feet, uh, another product from OESD, which is with uh, embroidery. It's a tearaway tape. Again, you're gonna learn about these things. And down underneath is the big book of embroidery. Now, what's so great about this? I'm gonna open the book. I gotta show you. So when you open this and you're trying to do certain kinds of projects, you're gonna be able to look through the book and see how to do all these things. And it's like an exercise because they're gonna take you through steps on how to do something. But when you do that, you're gonna understand so much more about the functions of the machine. Those of you that have a 790 or a seven series machine that can embroider, or even the five series, if you don't have the big book of embroidery, we have them here at the store that you can buy them. But when you, bought, when you do upgrade to the 790 Pro, or you buy the 790 Pro and never had one, you're gonna be getting this all in this bonus package. 
So we have the stabilizers, we have the isocore thread, we have the collection of embroidery designs, and this is an unbelievable value. So can't wait to show it all to you. Please call or come on in.